To open the iPad app and get logged in, you'll simply find the iXL app, open it, press on the sign in. You will then come to the screen where you need to enter your username at Durham Academy. This is unique to just iXL and then of course you'll do your school password. Also in the app if you press on the star it will show you on the right hand side all of the work that you've done. iXL reports on your iPad. Use the Puffin Academy app. Here's how. Open the Puffin Academy app. You can tap on Active Learning to go to that site. You'll notice in the top right the hamburger, three dots. We'll need to use that. You're going to add a bookmark after you press the three dots. You're going to edit the bookmark, change the name to IXL, type in this address exactly as you see it, press save. You'll then go back to the hamburgers and press on bookmarks and you'll see an IXL bookmark. You need to log in with your username and password. You can stay signed in. You do not need to type at Durham Academy because it is already there. Some things you should know about how IXL measures your mastery is it uses the SMART score, which basically looks in uh, to uh, factors like the number of problems completed, the number of problems correct and incorrect, the problem difficulty, and your consistency in solving problems. When you begin working, your initial SMART score is zero. When a problem is answered correctly, it increases the score. When you enter a wrong answer, the score decreases. Uh, SMART scores cannot be lower than zero nor higher than 100. And as you work through a skill and the score rises, the problems become more difficult and the score increases in smaller jumps. Likewise, the score may decrease only slightly if a student enters a wrong answer when he or she begins working on a skill. But as a student progresses towards mastery, wrong answers cause the score to decrease in larger and larger amounts. If a blank answer is submitted, IXL treats it like a wrong answer. IXL also rates scores as needs improvement, which is less than 70, satisfactory, 70 to 79, good, 80 to 89, excellent, 90 to 99, and mastered at 100 and provisional. It means a provisional means that IXL cannot accurately rate the score because you haven't answered enough. Once a student has mastered a skill, the rating for that skill remains mastered even if the student continues to practice it later and the score is lower. And a skill is mastered when the SMART score reaches 100. So remember that when you're practicing that the SMART score of 100 is when you have mastered something. Under usage skills practice you can see for the school year these are all of the skills you have practiced. You can set it to be math or language arts. You can do it by time spent, problems attempted, or skills practiced. Notice the time spent and the number of problems attempted. Also under usage, you can go to the usage log and adjust the date range. If you want to see how much you've done for this week, you change the date range to this week and adjust the dates and then press update report and that will bring you um, a new graph showing how much time you have spent for the week. Something else that's nice under the reports are trouble spots. Under trouble spots you can choose your subject and you can see which skills you have mastered or which skills you are provisional or needs improvement. Again the needs improvements means that you are in the 70 to 79 range. You can also turn off newsflash under um, 
adjust your profile. So you would go up and press on your name in the top right and turn off newsflash.